Welcome friends, welcome in, you in you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. I am Tom Moy. So today we will discuss a question about the acidity. Okay. So let's start. Actually, this is a practice question. Uh, I guess such type of question may come because of the options individual properties. So the question is arrange the compounds based on their acidity. Okay. And here four options are given. So you have to find out what is. So I will explain the tricks at the end. So before that, I will need to explain logically why this compound is acidic. This one. First, let's about since we are talking about acidity, so we should discuss about the stability of the conjugate base. If this is deprotonated, the conjugate base will be conjugate base is C Cn. Cn, Cn, and stability minus I and minus R. Okay, first point B. If chloroform, I am taking because space management. If chloroform is deprotonated, it will be C, Cl minus. These are the lone pair. If this triplet, it can give OTF or this. If OTF then gives, then you have to keep it in mind what the formula of OTF. If you don't know the formula of OTF, I guess it is very difficult. So please keep the name of the, the mind like what is OTF. Okay. So OTF is SO2CF2. So if it uh, releases one proton, but how it will look like? It will look like. CF3. Okay. Similarly, I am not writing other two because one is enough for under explanation. Okay. This is here the carbon and here in case of fluorophore, the carbon is. Oh, sorry, here minus i as well as minus r, both operates. Here minus i and minus r both operates. Here only minus i operates. So from initial understanding, we can say this will be the least acidic. Okay, but there is a twist. Twist is that when you are discussing about fluorine at the maximum electronegative atom in the periodic table. So then some confusion comes. Should I choose this as a 4? Confusion, but in reality, if you uh, see my previous video about the carbon ion stability, where I have explained that this is stabilized by minus r as well as my, minus i as well as minus r, and this is minus i. Although its electronegativity is more, but due to the minus i minus r effect, which is arising due to the vacant d orbital conjugation of this chloride. Stabilizes this carbon. Okay. What does it look like actually? If we draw it, let's draw other two CL. This is actually it is sp2. Keep it in mind. Actually, this is sp2. Okay. And all are sp2 except this. This is sp3 because we don't have any resonance stabilization. That's why it prefers to remain sp2. This is sp3. What happened? This is plus. This is minus. The electron field. And this is the chlorine's vacant d orbital, and this is the symmetry. Always keep it in mind about the symmetry and draw proper way. Otherwise, in spite of giving right answer, you will not get the marks. This is, and you should learn the symmetry of orbital. I'll make a dedicated video about the symmetry of orbitals. So this, and what happens? Electron is donated from this vacant orbital carbon discharge minus charge to this chlorine. In this way. Since three chlorines are there, so three way delocalization possible. This is more stable. And real proof of this uh, stability is this chloroform has a pK around 15.7. 15.15. .15. And this has a pK around 25. So this is the experimental proof. 
that this is more acidic than this. So this is in D. Fine. Right now I'll explain about a property of every every uh, group. Later I'll explain the trick. So this is so this is minus i minus r. How this electron goes here in this way, and actually two side possible. One come this way around along this way. Both side possible. And here actually in case of this cyanide, three possibilities. In case of three. In case of one is two, so six possibilities. Here on we give up no resonance, and here resonance has a direction. Means this is this delocalizes anti-bonding carbon orbital. So energetically they are closer. So overlap will be better. So delocalization will be better. And charge is delocalizing from carbon to nitrogen. How? C C N. So C minus is giving charge is going on nitrogen. So this extended delocalization happening in three centers. So very stable compared to this. And experimental proof its pK is around minus five. Okay. Okay. So we have discussed. Now interesting part is this. Okay. So actually its pK is around minus eighty. You can consider like organic super acids. How? In this way, six possible. First, this delocalization. Second, the withdrawing effect or minus I effect of CF3. Here also CF3 is produced, CF3 minus, but it is stabilizing one unit negative charge. Keep it in mind, one unit negative charge. Here, three CF3 stabilizing one unit. Not only that, it is attached to a sulfo S double bond. O two S double bond O, which res efficiently stabilizes the resonance. So in this way, this charge is extremely well delocalized. Means this prefers to remain in acidic form, not undergo, do not want to protonate. So that is the reason its acidity is maximum here. It is one of organic super acid, very low pK, very strong acid due to the withdrawing effect of this. So this is the discussion about the properties of every reagent option. So I guess you have understood the confusions, sir, the options for creating confusions. So if such type of question comes, you can help. Now let's see some of the tricks. For example, if we know about this cyanoform and this uh, trees trifluoromethan sulfonate derivative, so how you know only this? Okay, because uh, these two are not that much famous. Although I have made a video on this, and I will make a video on this, so you will get details. I will give you at the link, so it will be easier. So if you don't know, if you know chloroform versus fluoroform, which I have already uploaded a video, so then you have to find which is least acidic, fluoroform. So you have to find that where is D, D last, one option. Sorry, this is not B. This is B. One option, two option. So right answer is in between. Now you have to put your common sense. Common sense means here three cyanide is stabilizing. Here two cyanide is stabilizing. Here three sulfur uh, trifluoromethane sulfur is stabilizing. So here stabilization is expected to more. Okay. So C must be one among these two, where C is one here. So you are not in a confusion right now. Another thing. Let's accept. You don't know this. What is the fourth option given? Topmost is A. Topmost is A. Second is B. Second is B. So is it possible that is it is more stronger than this? Is not possible here. Resonance possible here only minus I and resonance is but not that not that much strong because CCL bond distance is also a factor longer bond. So that's why you can utilize your common sense. To answer this question in 30 seconds. For example, first this is least, so this four process of elimination, rest two are eliminated, and where this uh, and this question contains first option C and A, C versus A. Then comparison this versus this. This is more acidic, so this is the answer. This is the answer. So please start. So in this way, you can within fraction, within less than a minute, you can solve this question, which having two marks. So thank you everyone for listening to my video. So if you like my videos please give a thumbs up and share this video among your friends and subscribe my channel chemistry and mystery of molecules
and to get notification of every single video I upload, please press the bell icon. So thank you everyone, see you in my next video.